Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how frequently do you use thread or sleep in Selenium automation? Let me answer. We shouldn't be using this thread or sleep frequently. Okay, in our Selenium automation, we should not use thread or sleep frequently. Okay. And it should be your last option. Okay. If you think to use thread dot sleep for uh, implementing the waiting mechanism in our Selenium automation scripts or waiting for a particular element in the Selenium automation script, then thread dot sleep should not be used frequently. Rather, it should be your last option. You should consider it very last. If nothing is working, then only we'll go for thread dot sleep. So if you get this kind of question in the interviews, you have to simply say that, okay, I don't frequent, uh, I don't use this thread or sleep frequently in my automation code. Okay. It has some disadvantages. Okay. I'll, I'll not ignore it rather, you know, I'll consider it as a last option. Okay. Because, uh, whatever the, in, uh, inbuilt waiting mechanisms we have in our Selenium web drivers library, like implicit weights, explicit weights, these weights are kind of smart weights. Okay. They wait for the element. So they will not wait for the entire fixed time. For example, if you say thread dot slip 10 seconds, even though the element comes or appears in three seconds, thread dot slip still waits the entire 10 seconds. The extra seven seconds will be wasted and because of which the execution will slow down. Okay. The performance will reduce and uh, as, a, as it slows down the execution of the scripts because of the fixed wait time, though the element has appeared after three seconds, but still Thread dot slip is waiting for the entire 10 seconds. Okay. So that's a problem. That's one problem with uh, thread dot slip and compared to the, the smart uh, weights we have in smart inbuilt weights we have in Selenium web driver. Not only that guy, sometimes, okay, because of fixed waiting mechanism, let's say you have mentioned thread dot slip as 10 seconds, but the element came at 15th second. What will happen? The test will fail, brittle test, okay? The test will fail because uh, Selenium, uh, you know, Selenium will uh, will wait only for that uh, 10 seconds because of the red dot slip. The red dot slip is from Java anyhow. It will halt the program for 10 seconds. So Selenium will wait for this red dot sleep uh, condition to complete. Once 10 seconds is completed, it will try to perform operation on the element, but the element is not there because of that test will fail. What if I use uh, inbuilt uh, waiting mechanisms that we have in Selenium web driver? They are very smart. At the same time, you can give bigger number, like 100 seconds, 200 seconds also. If the element comes in three seconds, the smart weights, that is inbuilt waiting mechanisms, implicit weight, explicit weight in Selenium web driver will wait only for three seconds, right? Extra, whatever the seconds you gave, okay? Uh, if you gave 100 seconds, extra 97 seconds will not be wasted. Okay, we give 10 seconds, the extra 7 seconds will not be wasted. Brittle test won't be there because you will give some extra, you know, buffer time. Uh, because since Selenium web driver weights, inbuilt weights are kind of smart weights. So you can give bigger number when compared to thread or sleep, which are fixed weights. So when generally instead of 10 seconds, you may give like 30 or 40. So if the element comes in 15, 15 seconds also, no problem, right? It will wait. Okay. So 30 seconds we have. So... It, it has the capability to wait and uh, if the element comes way before like three seconds, extra 27 seconds will not be wasted. Okay. So execution will not get slowed down with uh, smart weights in uh, Selenium web driver. So that's why you have to answer like, uh, I won't be using, okay. How frequently do you use thread dot slip? Means I don't frequently use thread dot slip. Okay. So as it uh, slows down my execution of the scripts, okay, Be because of its fixed wait time, Okay, and also sometimes uh, the test will fail because the element may appear uh, behind this fixed time. So the test may fail. Okay, so I'll consider that as a last option. I prefer to use uh, inbuilt waiting mechanisms in Selenium web driver like implicit and explicit. Okay, so, so that should be your answer, guys. Okay, that should be your answer. Okay, so hope, guys, you got the answer for this question. Thank you. Bye bye.